For many moons, I have used the Nord color scheme and I really like that color scheme. It is, it's beautiful, don't get me wrong. There's just something about it that, I don't know, it irked me. The more and more that I used it, I don't know what it is. Maybe there's just too many like purples and the saturation is just too much. I don't know. I really like it. It seems to be one of the more subdued color schemes. And I figured, why not build your own? So after much deliberation and, and going back and forth on colors, I have finally released my first color scheme, Compline, and a light variant of it called Lods. You will kind of get the reference if you know what I'm talking about, but to say the least, it is a much more subdued version of, it's, it's really a homage to Nord, Everforest, and some of the more monotone, monochromatic color schemes. The issue that I really had was the oversaturation oversaturation of colors. I wanted to reduce them. There, a lot of the time color schemes are almost distracting with how many colors and, and they just kind of like slap you across the face. They just want to, they just shout at you. Whereas I wanted the colors to be really, almost fall away. Go into the background, only really come up if you need to, to look for them. So you'll see, and obviously I'll show you the color schemes here, that the greens and the reds and everything, they're, they're very subdued. They don't scream at you, they just kind of suggest to you that they're there. This is by no means a objective better color scheme than any other color schemes. I, I truly believe that there's probably a science behind colors and if you're a color scientist, please go view the GitHub and uh, create a pull request to correct all of my mistakes. But subjectively, I do like what I've done here. Maybe you do too. I've released a color scheme onto GitHub for you to go to go pirate. Go on there, create pull requests, fork it, change stuff. Let me know what your thoughts are. And uh, this is kind of just a, a post announcing that I have created a color scheme and it's, and I mean, it's just, it's just a color scheme, but it, it's something that I've been wanting to do for some time. And it, it really like, for me, it feels right. So anyway, go check it out. The, uh, the link will be in the show notes. And uh, yeah, I'll flip over to my screen and just kind of show you, show you what I'm talking about here. And before I flip over to my screen, special thanks to Matthew Kennedy. He ported the color scheme to NeoVim. It's something that I have been meaning to do, but uh, just, just never got around to. So thank you, Matthew. And uh, yeah, let's, let's show you this color scheme. So here is Compline and Laws as well. This is the GitHub repo. Feel free to go create a pull request and change all the colors that I've, uh, I've messed up with color science. <laughs> You'll see some of the influences I took. I took Tokyo night. I took some of Nord as well. If you look at the Nord color palette and Everforest. Everforest was kind of what I, it's along the lines of what I was looking for, but things are just still a little bit too saturated in them. So when you come back to this color scheme, it's, it's more subdued. It's not so, so in your face. This is Compline. As you can see, this is the, this is the darker of the two. And I'm going to flashbang warn you that I'll switch over to Lods here, just three, two, one. And there is Lods. A little bit lighter. You'll notice that the colors, they kind of fall back into the background. When you look at function statements and everything in Go, for example, you see that the colors are there, but they're not screaming at you. If I were to change over to something like Nord, uh, and this is built into Doom Emacs, by the way, you can actually just change themes in here. It's a lot more saturated, a lot more in your face. Whereas if I switch back to Compline, more subdued. I just like that because I'm, I'm more of the, my, first of all, I, I write a lot. So when I'm writing and there's a bunch of colors and stuff, I, I get distracted. I just, I don't know what it is. It's just something that doesn't work for me. So I built this first and foremost for writing, but also for programming in that it, it's a Rob Pikeism, I believe. And it's like colors are for children or something. I'm going to look that up for you right now. And <laughs> here you go. When I was a child, I used to speak like a child, think like a child, reason like a child. When I became a man, I did away with childish things. Rob Pike on uh, syntax highlighting in Go Playground. <laughs> this is not exactly my sentiment on syntax highlighting and all that, but it's uh, a little bit more so that you're not distracted. I don't actually use TreeMax all the time, but I'm just using it for the example here. But yeah, that's 
the color scheme in a nutshell. Feel free to let me know what your thoughts are. Go take my color scheme and do whatever you will with it. That's what I love about the open source community. And uh, yeah. And I know there are purists that are like, why did you do a light color scheme? Have you ever tried to use a computer in broad daylight with a dark color scheme? It's like, it's like impossible. <laughs> my, I think my laptop has a, is a 500 nit screen. And the other day I was trying to use a dark color scheme in the sunlight and it was impossible. So I had to switch to a light scheme and I'm like, okay, I guess I'll do a light scheme. That's why I did a light scheme. That's why LODS exists. If you liked that video, feel free to stick around by subscribing to the channel. In the show notes, I have a couple links for uh, support if you are ever so inclined. And I also make websites, apps, and do some programming in the background. It's how I support my family. So if you're if you're inclined, feel free to uh, reach out and maybe we can work together on something cool. As always, God bless you. We will see you in the next video. Take care.